Hi, it's Father Barry, and it's Wednesday, the 20th of October, Feast of Paul of the Cross. I remember last year talking to you about this person. He founded the Passionists, and according to uh, Paul, the founder, he says that what we're looking for in our order is a man totally God-centered, totally apostolic, a man of prayer, detached from the world, from things, from himself so that he may be in all truth be called a disciple of Jesus Christ. Whoa, that's a tough, tough calling there. Let us pray. May the priest St. Paul, whose only love was the cross, obtain for us your grace, O Lord, so that, urged on more strongly by his example, we may each embrace our own cross with courage through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, brothers and sisters, sin must not reign over your mortal bodies so that you obey their desires. And do not present the parts of your bodies to sin, but present yourselves to God as raised from the dead. Raised to life so that the parts of your bodies to God will be weapons for righteousness, for sin is not to have any power over you, since you are not under the law now, but under grace the word of the Lord. That's not all the reading, but it's enough for us to work with. So Paul would say that the power of the cross in our lives is much more powerful if we would let the cross of Jesus and the love of Christ crucified reach us, then we would not want to sin. But so many people, even under Christianity, will choose to let sin reign over them. But we have been given a change. We have become children of God. We've been made to love God and to glorify God now in our minds, bodies, souls, hearts. So it's, he urges us, St. Paul does, present yourselves to God as raised, as living the new life, okay? And live in righteousness and live, <clears throat> you know, where you used to follow lustful desires. Now live in the passion of Christ. Be a passionist. Amen.